the duck pond. So little Prissa took the baby in her right arm, the jug in her left hand, and went to the farm to get the milk. On her way, she went by the garden gate of a large house that stood close to the farm, and she told the baby a story. Last summer, she said, "A little girl, bigger than you, for she was just able to work, came to stay in that house. She and her father and mother, all about the road just here, the ducks and the chickens from the farm, and an old turkey, just to walk about all day long. But the poor little ducks were very unhappy, for they had no pond to swim about in." Only that narrow ditch, through which the streamlet is flowing. When the little girl's father saw this, he took his spade and worked and worked very hard, and out of the ditch and the streamlet, he made a little pond for the ducks. And they swam about and were very happy all through the summer days. Every morning, I used to stand and watch. And presently, the garden gate would open, and then the father would come out, leading the little girl by the hand, and the mother brought large plateful of beds of broken bread. The little girl used to throw the bread to the ducks, and they ran after it and ate it quickly, while she laughed all with glee, and the father and the mother laughed too just as merrily. Baby, the father had blue eyes and a voice that he seemed to hear with your heart. The little girl used to feed the chickens too, and the foolish little turkey that was so fond of her, it just ran after her until she screamed and was afraid. The dear father and the little girl came out every morning, while the black pigs looked through the bars. Of the farmyard gate, it grunted at them, as if they were glad. And I think the ducks knew that the father had made the pond. For they swam round and round, it proudly while he was them. But when he went away, the sun tired and sad. The pond is not there now. Baby, for a man, came by one day. And made it into a ditch again, and the chickens and the ducks from the farm are kept in another place. The little girl is far away in her own home, which the father made for her, and the dear father lives in his own home too, in the hearts of those he loved. That was the story that Prince told the baby.